it's not like we 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 <laughs> Shalom, and welcome back to Wife Hack by Dina Cherie, and welcome to your bonus episode. In this episode, we're going to be talking about, obviously, the promises of God. Thank you for saying generosity. Um, we're talking about the promises of God, and this is for the people that God has promised marriage to. Thank you for saying generosity again. God has promised marriage. God has promised Ooh, the Abraham promise. He's promised, ooh, um, generations. Let me tell you, for those people, he's promised that and he's promised that. And let me tell you, don't get this channel misconstrued. This is not a prophetic channel. It's not. I just release what the Holy Spirit tells me to release. And that's it. Thank you for synchronicity again. But I just release what the Holy Spirit's telling me to release. That's it. We are becoming better people, better believers, so we can be the better wives that we need to be. Thank you for synchronizing again. <laughs> Sorry. But anyway, let's commit this time to God. Let's pray. Father God, we give you all the glory. We praise you. We magnify you. And we thank you, sir, for everything you've done, everything you're doing, everything you will do. Lord, we love you. And we ask that you forgive us of sins we've committed knowingly and unknowingly. And we repent for perpetuating those generational curses that you sent us down here to break. Lord, I pray that you open our eyes and ears, our hearts and minds to receive the word that you would like us to hear today. Make me your personal conduit so I can say to your people what you want me to say. Me in the background, you in the foreground. This is about your glory. We thank you for the revelation confirmation and the clarity in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I'm going to insert this scripture. I'll insert the scripture, but I'm about to read it to you too. So mm. Habakkuk 2 and 3. For still the vision awaits. It's appointed time. It hastens to the end and it will not lie. If it seems slow, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not delay. Oh my gosh, this is, let me tell you, this comes right in time with what my bishop is talking about. He just did, I think, a reel about this. So if God promised something to you, and he was speaking to me earlier about this, if God's promised you something, and you're not seeing it, you're not seeing it. It's because there's something that you needed to do, okay? It's something that you needed to do. Um, and when I recorded this the first time, <laughs> this is not the first time, but when I recorded this the first time, um, he was saying phase one is ready for, phase one is ready. I don't know what that means. So literally when I get off, of recording this, I'm going to go into my prayer closet and be like, now what you talking about? Cause I don't really know. I, ooh, I do know, he said. Okay, I do know. Thank you for thinking us to me again. But whatever phase one is, it requires your work, your action. You have to do something for phase one. I don't know what that is. You, you have to do something. You have to do something. And I feel like it's something that you've kind of put off. But let me tell you, God, when he makes a promise, he makes a promise. He ain't like us where we can make a promise, a <laughs> pinky promise. And then it's like, girl, did you hear? Like, no, it, no. That's not how God moves. No, he don't do that. But when he makes a promise, it's... But there's a timeline to that promise. Here's the thing. We don't know what that timeline is. I've said it a million times. He exists out of the confines of time. But we exist within the confines of time. And thank you for synchronicity again. Um, we exist within the confines of time. 
So for us, it feels like a long time, but for him, it feels like a blink of an eye. It's it's not like me, we, we. <laughs> but for us, it's like, dude, that was like a thousand years. <gasps> um, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen. If he promised you something specific. And then let me tell you. You know when God has promised you something. Um, for me, I like scripture. For me, I like, okay, I heard this word. Whether I heard it, somebody prophesied it to me, whatever. But there is an actual scripture I can go to. And the way that God will reveal what scriptures he wants me to turn to. Sometimes it's with synchronicity. Let's talk about it. Um, oh, and it's about to be synchronicity again. Let me tell you, my God. But he, that's that's what he'll do. He'll he'll provide a scripture for me, and it'll be exactly what I needed. It's amazing. God is amazing. Come on, he's amazing. But either which way. Phase one, I think the last one I did, I was talking about, oh, it's time, it's time, it's ready, it's ready. It's ready, but it's ready for you to do your part now. Ooh, it's ready for you to do your part. Whatever your part is, you got to do it. God will work out the rest. All those other things like the small, whatever. He's got that. But there's certain parts of this promise that God is like, okay, but what are you doing? Okay, so this is wife hack. I promised marriage to you. But are you preparing to be a wife? Hmm? Are you? Are you and I'm and it's not just like oh my gosh, I I gave him his side of the bed. Number one, no man is living with you, okay? No man is living with you, so he d d what? No, no, no. I'm saying preparing for marriage. What do you need to be the Proverbs thirty one wife? Are you exercising? Are you trying to start a business? Are you getting your finances in order? Are you learning these different skills? So if something were to go awry and something happened, you're good. Your family is good. Because, girl, you got this. Is, is that what you're doing? Are, are you preparing for that? Are you working out a budget? And sticking to that budget. Let me tell you. And sticking to that budget. I'm going to say it one more time. Sticking to that budget. Because I know that is something. I make budgets. Do I always stick to them? Sometimes I do. Lots of times. Not really. I don't stick to it. I'm getting better with it, but you need that's part of preparing to be a wife. You have to learn because you're going to be managing like your household's budget with your spouse. Let me tell you that that's something y'all got to do together. Together, okay? Um and you need to learn how to stick to the budget that was set so your family will flourish. My God. This is not just about you. This is not, oh my God, can we talk about this right quick? This is not just about, oh my God, he's going to rub my feet and oh my God, and we're going to get to hold our hands and take those cute Instagram photos. It has nothing to do with that, ma'am. 
Sir, it has nothing to do with that. My gosh. If we're talking about building and building God's kingdom, that's Instagram is the last thing. Let me tell you, the last thing. You don't need to worry about that. Synchronize it again. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But if God is giving you a promise, it's for a reason. It's for a reason. If God wants, whew, if he wants you to have descendants and he wants you to create life, it's for a reason. It's for a reason. We don't know what the future holds. Wow. Wow. Okay, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I have to cut this off because I'm like, let me tell you, he did them tell. Wow. Wow. Okay. Thank you for thinking I see it again. God is good. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. God is good. He's amazing. I can't stop praising God. He is amazing. But all I'm going to say is it's time for phase one. Phase one includes you doing what you got to do. Okay? That's what phase one includes. Includes you got to do something. You can get to do something. Okay? So anyway, I'm going to link in the description one of the life-giving messages from Bishop Kevin Foreman and Harvest Church. It will bless you. It will inspire you. It will change your life. And thank you so much. This is such an honor. And shalom.